Natural Woman today, we will explore weight loss and maintenance for moms so that we can improve the quality of life for both ourselves and our families. We will discuss weight loss and maintenance from two different perspectives. A medical doctor and a keto low-carb high-fat consultant sit with us. Dr. Chinasa Ahmadi, founder of Ariella Health and Fitness Limited, is a Russian-trained medical doctor and a UK-certified weight loss coach and nutritionist who combines the finest of clinical and lifestyle medical practices. She's passionate about helping people eat and live healthy. Habara Imwagena is a keto consultant and founder of Low Carb NG, a company that provides a wide range of products needed for weight loss, low carb meal replacement, diabetes control, and a whole lot more. We'll be right back. As women grow older, why is weight loss harder? Um, now, there are different factors mm -hmm. that could make one not to lose weight. Mm -hmm. first, losing weight is not easy, first of all. The first question I always ask is, are you doing it right? And if I've worked with you mm -hmm. and I see that you are truly consistent, but then we're not getting the results we desire, yeah. then um, we start looking at other medical conditions. We start looking at things like not sleeping enough. Mm -hmm. We start looking at things like stress mm -hmm. or is he or she going through an emotional problem those are things that could put you back on this whole journey yeah. so it's important to understand that then deal with the root cause once you deal with the root cause then you, you can now run no then you can yes of course you can now run mm -hmm. you know so deal with the root of the problem first yeah. you can't start from top when the, the, the down is not the foundation is not solid yeah of course it won't this house will stand yeah so that's the same protocol what is the role of a mind in weight loss? Okay, now a lot of people come to approach weight loss with this um, quick fix. You know, you have to understand mm. that weight, weight loss is not a quick fix. And um, that's the major issue we usually have when people come. Mm -hmm. You have to let them know that, look, you need to sit down. This is a lifestyle. It's a long journey. It's not, it, nothing is going to happen in the next one month. If it doesn't happen in the next two months, you're not going to give up. You're not going to say, oh, I'm going to jump from here now, I'm going to go to this other place, I'm going mm. to try to do this. No, it's mind over matter. You have to realize that the, the issues you are dealing with are deeper than just the external you know, facts that you are seeing. Um, fats doesn't grow overnight. How long did it take you to achieve your ideal weight? I've had several journeys, you know, it's mm. not, I mean, it's not just a one, it's, it, I've had several. And where I am right now, I, I have stayed the longest and that's why I've become sort of like an advocate for it because I've realized that it's not a one size fits all. Everybody must find what works for them, yeah. find the equilibrium and go with it, you know. Mm. So LCHF is, has worked, is what has worked for me in the long run for mm. over four years now. And, and basically I have kept the same stature for this long. Yeah. And what it helped me do was realize that what I was eating was more important than anything else. Than exercise. Than exercise than anything else. Mm. What I was actually eating, the quality of the food I was eating, it made me study more about what I was putting in my body. Yeah. You know, you say, oh, it um, takes, we were talking earlier about calorie-free uh, mm -hmm. foods. Oh, I can take um, soda water. What's that excess energy? Um, um, oxygen or mm -hmm. is it nitrogen that is put in that thing? Mm -hmm. What does it do to your body? Mm -hmm. why, why do you need that excess gas mm -hmm. in your system? You don't need it. Why don't you just drink water? Yeah. Okay, you're talking about, oh, um, I can I can take um, sugar-free drinks. Okay, but the alternative, why don't you just take water instead of having those, ex those chemicals that you mm -hmm. don't even know how they are processed um, in the first place? So, yeah. LCH made me read a little harder, mm -hmm. a little more, a little deeper about the foods. They say eat vegetables, eat certain type of fat. I'm like, fat? How, how dare you talk about eating fat on a diet? Mm -hmm. You know, but reading, talking about um, the olive oil and, uh, and the difference between canola oil and, you know, olive oil. I'm like, oh really? Canola oil was actually made from chemicals put together and we are not even aware. And then we can eat, take things like as natural as olive oil and even coconut oil, you know, and it will be safe. And, and it will be safe. And so, for you. Yeah, Elsie Elsa made me read a little deeper so that's why I appreciate it as a lifestyle mm. not just as a weight loss tool. How can we incorporate weight maintenance as a lifestyle? Yeah. 
Um, one of the things I say about these lifestyles, when you want to embark on the lifestyle, mm -hmm. first of all, is the lifestyle affordable? Yeah. Is it constantly available and is it accessible? Mm -hmm. It's easier when you run with company, when you're on this journey with people. Okay. That's why some people are looking for, oh, who is going to lose weight with me? You know, who's going to do this with yeah. me? You know, who's going to exercise with me? I need to exercise with me. Who is, yes, yeah. some yeah. accountability. So why don't you then put the family together? Mm -hmm. Who says healthy is for you alone? Mm -hmm. The family deserves healthy. That's why the mindset thing comes about. You have to have the mindset that I want to be a healthier version of me. Mm -hmm. And my family deserves to be a healthier version too. So if you are cooking your vegetables and then you're giving them some other thing, mm. some other thing. Mm. Why? Well, you're just a, like a wicked person, really. <laughs> really. Who says who says only mommy should eat salad? Mm. Or who says only mommy and daddy should eat chicken? Yeah. You know that kind of thing. It's very important that once you I'd let them know early that, hey, you can drink water over that soda. Mm. You can drink this over this. Okay. Yeah, so things it, like substituting yes, snacks. You for can make kids. fruit juices at home. Mm -hmm. yes. Go with fruits in season. You get this, oh, now mangoes are you make them mango ice cream. Mm. You blend and you, uh, you freeze it or put in popsicles and everybody's excited. Mm. You know, let, make it fun for them, you know. And, you know, you can do a lot of things with chicken for them. You can grill in very fun ways. Mm. You can mash and, you know. So just make it a family fun. center yes. activity. So yes. that you are, it makes life easy, if, especially if the, it is most times the women that are the weight loss journey. Yeah. So it makes life easier for you. You don't have to be cooking two, two meals. Women really come on when there's some health issue to deal with. Yes, yeah. most times. Yes, you know, most times. Even if there's not health issue, maybe they see the, the chicken in the, the woman's food. Oh, are you saying you say Madam, <laughs> Madam, that chicken is good for my this. body too, you know. You know that kind of thing, so. What if he likes me this way? If you're, if you're okay with what your husband like. likes, yeah. if you are that person, mm. that's fine. But you also have to know, there's no woman, mm -hmm. and I'm saying it from a place of um, um, uh, awakening, mm -hmm. let me put it that way. There's no woman that, you get to a certain point, you will find your voice. And you have to do it for yourself. And you have to really. do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You will. So, yes, your husband may like you, your boy. When you look at yourself in the mirror, and you, are you happy? Are you happy? Do, you want, do I want to be this way? Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, my husband never told me to lose me. In fact, he probably needs to, everybody in my house, my kids go like, mommy, I mean, come on, she's on it again. Mm. You know, but yeah, it was just about me. Yeah. I had to, I, everything I do concerning weight loss or concerning maintaining my figure is about me and, and feeling for yourself. good about them. What is your advice to a yo-yo dieter? I always tell people that, um, each time you do this yo-yo diet, yeah. you, you, you're in diet now, you gain weight again, it messes up your metabolism. So it's important, you know, your body goes through this trauma and then it's trying to get used to it and then you hit it with something else yeah. and then you hit it with something else. The body, the body, is, it's like you keep wounding the body. Mm. One wound hasn't healed, healed and you are doing something else, you know. So you have to give the body time to heal. You have to give the, so you, you, you go into another diet and two weeks later, no wow. results, you're out of it again, you're like, whatever. Each time you do that, you make your journey harder. So that's why I always, for me, I advocate what is really sustainable for you. You have to sit down and read. Just like how she said about mind over matter matters yeah. here. You have to decide, why do I want this? First of all, do I want this? What do I want it for? Yeah, do do I, for? Yes, why is it for me? Am I okay? If you're okay the way you are, fine. You don't need to struggle. But then if you are not, then move. Change your position. You're not a tree. <laughs> yes, no, you're not. So just, you should move from where mm -hmm. you are and then decide to to stop sleeping inside KK and move to something else. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Just up, uh, change where you are. Change The mindset is key here. Mm -hmm. And then you, when you change, you, you decide to embark on it, then find out what is sustainable for me. What can I do this? How can I do this long term? Mm -hmm. If you can do the L, um, LCHF long term, mm -hmm. go for it. What is your remedy for binge eating? When you understand the damage that those things will actually do to your body, even when you are you, you, you want to binge, you will binge with um, some restraints. With caution. Yeah, there will be restraints. We all get to that point where we want to taste that plantain. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, so if you do binge, mm. um, there are different ways. You could either do intermittent fasting, 
if you feel bad, if you have, can handle intermittent fasting. Mm. Intermittent fasting basically tells you to fast for a couple of hours, you know, between meals, so that your body can rest, your body can recuperate from whatever it is, you know, that you you've done. allows your your digestive system to rest. Mm. That's what basically intermittent fasting does. So you can do that. You can also take. You can't. Uh, you can't. You're allowed to drink water when you are doing throughout the fasting, next throughout, day. You know, the number yeah. of hours you are fasting for. You can also just. You you can't handle intermittent fasting, you feel hungry, then just go on with the next meal on your regular um, diet plan. Don't go back to binge. Don't. The point about this thing is make it a lifestyle. Mm. That's what I try to preach. That's what I try to advocate. I say, move wherever you are, whatever you have. Honestly, I'm not exactly a gym fanatic. And there's something, there's something I read recently about the blue zones of the world. Mm. These are areas where people live more than 100 years old. Yes! And you know why you do that? Mm. The live the life. The live healthy mm. life. The eat close to nature. Mm. The love, you know, the, the appreciate family. They appreciate social relationships. Outdoors. The, I'll appreciate outdoors. Mm. They're, they're not so rich. They're not wealthy at all. Yeah. But then the live... The, there, there, there was an, an interview of an, a hundred years old man mm -hmm. and he was walking he like the way he was walking you could not believe it. the interview, that he was, interview was shocked and there's also a story about you know someone that had, i think had cancer somewhere else and said let me just come back home since it was terminal mm -hmm. and the guy lived like almost uh 20 more years later for something that the thing was good about to die because well, he probably changed his lifestyle everything changed he's eating close to nature he was now being active they say they don't have any gym there they don't usually have they don't go to the gym they're mm -hmm. not they're not crazy <laughs> about gyms but the they are active, they walk they almost swim. everywhere, they, 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 they're very busy, mm -hmm. the, their lifestyle is exercise. Yeah, Do you understand? Fantastic. So people underestimate the power. Of, I'm not saying you should get up and make it, oh you're all geared in your, uh, your shoes and you know, most times you wear that and just like that and be pressing phone, go to go on social media, that's what happens. Taking pictures You know, post. you take pictures and then you just like, oh one sweat fight. <laughs> Like, I said you can now oh, just one job. Now Instagram has now pitied us and they brought out the sweat fire emoji. So you can actually put a banner that's like Instagram emoji and it's like, oh you're sweating. You're like, sweating. Like, really? You see, you see that kind of thing? And you yeah. actually did nothing. Mm. So you have to learn to I'm very busy. I work I work a regular nine to five medical practice, not 9 to 5 really yeah. because sometimes it can even stretch to 10 or mm -hmm. level, whatever, whenever I leave the hospital. So I have to learn to, while I'm at work, what can I do? When I'm at home, what can I do with my kids? Mm -hmm. What can I do when I'm working? So what do you do with your kids? Oh, I dance a lot with them. With them? Oh yes, I just play music and dance. Sometimes they want to play hide and seek, you know, even though mommy's not in the mood, but mm -hmm. we just run around and they're having so much fun, they're mm -hmm. jumping on, but they want me to carry them and yeah. then mommy's there trying to tone her out. And you're using them, and right? I'm like, are you having fun? I'm like, oh yeah, we're having fun, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, I know, I'm trying to, the big one now comes, I say, no, 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 mommy's not here to play, I'm, don't break my back. It's better that I sweat than I have a heart attack. And that's the truth. You know, people so just you get have to work. Yes, yeah, get working. Mm -hmm. It's good for your heart. Mm -hmm. It's not just about weight loss. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's the mindset. It. It's not never just about men. Look at it from the holistic point of view. It's mm -hmm. about your health. It's about your health. It's about your heart. The quality health. of your life. The quality of your life. Of Why don't you, you when you see all these other people, like the people in the blue zones, mm -hmm. you learn from them. Mm -hmm. Why? You, I want. I don't want to be. People, we don't want. To, they say the last time I checked life expectancy for men and women, like men, women were like about fifty-three years, and then men were like fifty-two or they about. That's life expectancy. That's true. Mm -hmm. And then places like in Japan, they're like eighty something. Mm -hmm. And why? If you go to Japan, they're wearing suits with canvas mm -hmm. because they walk they around walk they a lot. Walk. These are people. They are intentional with your health. About you have health. to be intentional Fantastic. with your health. Fantastic. Yeah. You have to be intentional. Yes. Love, love yourself your that much. Too. Love yeah. yourself yeah. that love much. Yourself that much. Amazing. Give yourself the best. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I've had with me Dr. Chinasa here and Parara here and we've had the most enlightening conversation on weight loss and maintenance and fitness and it's just been so great. I've learned a lot. In fact, I'm going to start working well I'm I'm going to start standing when I'm walking. I will no longer sit down. <laughs> Find what works for you. Make sure you get your exercise in. Love your heart. Love yourself. Yeah. It's about your life. You know, it's so amazing to have you here. I've learned Thank so much. You. So much. Like, I don't want to go away. So but we have to go, yeah?